Yes. I told my wife to lose some weight. And I know people people are thinking, oh, that was clickbait. Nobody's telling their wife to lose weight. So it was after... Oh, hold on, hold on. But you, so you're going to jump in and tell us the story. And then we're really going to just break this down. This is not just a, a, a joke. This is not just a clickbait. No. We're going to really see, is what you did appropriate? And we're going to break down some, some ever real-life under, scenarios. Ever under any circumstances is the question. Right. All right. So, so what happened? So here's what happened. We had... This was years ago. Uh, I think we had had our third child, and it had been about a year. My wife had been an athlete in college, and uh, her dad was really into health foods, and uh, we all were. We were all into being healthy, but we'd had three kids. She um, she went from probably 145 pounds to over 200, which is not crazy for having a baby. But then a year after, she was still sitting at about 200. So um, one day... Her dad and I were talking. I don't remember who initiated, but we had shared together. Should we say anything? Uh-huh. You know, she's an athlete. We're at, we're all into health, and I was like, I don't I don't know what to do. And I was new. You know, we hadn't been married, even though we already had three kids. We'd been married a few years, and I was like, I'm not sure. Uh, I love her. I obviously still love her. That didn't change that. So we, let's establish that out of the gate. Okay, yeah, and p- people can assume whatever they want, but I'm just wanting to get the story out that her dad and I had a conversation. We decided together to confront her, okay, to bring this up with her, and we we said, hey, you know, can we talk to you for a minute, you know, and that kind of thing, and she was like, yeah, what's up, and and we together said, we're concerned that um, maybe you're not... Uh, taking your health as seriously as you should. Something like that. You know, that was the thing. And if you ask her today, she, or even at the moment we did it. Yeah, tell us about that very moment. She was not like, no, I can't believe you would say that. I'm not saying she's not capable of that. (laughs) But the way we did it, I think she would say, you know what, you all be doing it together like that. And just saying, I'm concerned about your health. And that make it, Uh it went over... I think good, and if she was here, she would say, "Yeah, I needed y'all to do that." So I, I would just. You married a good woman. You married a good woman that perhaps may be a little bit of the exception. Well, but here's, can I can I say this? Yeah, I could have just one day out of the blue said, "Man, why are you eating so much?" Okay, that may not have been the same thing, or I could have said, "Those clothes look tight on you. Your butt's gotten big," you know, something like that. <laughs> so we did it very prayerfully. Amen. Now, some would say, no, never, ever, under any circumstances should you do that. You married her, love her, no matter how big she gets, you never say anything. So, so that's what so, Okay, so that's what we're, we're, yeah. we're diving into a little bit. So you got kind of two sides to this. You have the side of a man who jumped on a radio station. I believe it was one of those you... Call-in show. Call-in call kind of. show, and he, he said, hey, here's the situation. My wife has gained X amount of weight, and I no longer am attracted to her and I no longer want to have sex with her. Okay. Uh, to my knowledge, that was the situation, and he got lambasted, this fella, this brave, brave fella, got lambasted <laughs> brave. by this, br- this okay. uh, <clears throat> blunt fella, got lambasted by the audience yeah. of that whatever, and also by the person on the other line that was taken, that fielding the questions. He got lambasted from all sides. Yeah. So there's the one side, and then the other side, which you were just alluding to, is many couples under no circumstance would the husband ever, ever risk his life, challenge the like wife that. by bringing up her weight. All right. So go, uh, Trainer Joe, what does Trainer Joe think? About so so here's what I'm thinking. Um, should you ever discuss weight? Let, let's assume uh, Jim out there is dating Carol. Jim and Carol. Jim and Pam. Mm-hmm. Right, Jim and Pam. They're dating. And uh, one day Pam says, you know, I know I look like a cheerleader now and we're young, but 
probably will have a few kids, so go ahead and anticipate that I'm probably going to settle in. Instead of the 135 I am now, I'm probably going to settle in about 200. I wasn't sure what you were going to say. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm probably going to settle in about 200, pretty, just to make sure you know. That, a, that happens a lot. Hey, and I need, I'm need. i taking this very seriously, but that's, okay, that's a pretty big jump. I wasn't sure if you were going to say like 20 pounds heavier, so you're all the way right. to 200. Okay. okay, but you can pick your number. Okay. She could have said, I'm about 135 now or 140. But I've seen so often, I'm probably going to end up about 180 okay. or 200 okay, okay. or 300. What is there a number that makes this different, right? Is there a number to where people suddenly say, oh, well, yeah, now it's okay, but everybody's going to gain 10 or 15 That's pounds. a great question. Is there a number? Is there a number? It, so, and where is that number? And are you a horrible, horrible person? If that number is maybe a little different than someone else's number, if there's any number for you that becomes a concern. Or you could change it and say, I'm never going to care about my spouse's weight. Why should I? And, I? and I know there's plenty of people out there on that side. Why should I? Why would I ever care? Okay, what if you don't care about their weight? And I'm fine with that, if that's your, what you choose. But you notice their blood pressure is going up, 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 up. And the doctor says, well, your weight is really contributing to this. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you then say, hey, I'm concerned about your blood pressure? When you know, the doctor's already said, well, it's linked to weight. Is it okay to say, I'm, I'm concerned about your blood pressure. What can we do about your blood pressure? Is that even crossing the line? And I think this is important. And I think one thing it reveals is how emotionally immature we tend to be, and how shallow our relationships tend to be. And I, you and I were talking earlier. I think you can be married to somebody for 30, 40, 50 years and barely know them. And I just would say, I think it's sad yeah. that we can't have these conversations. And part of it, as I was thinking earlier, I think if we, if we could have those conversations, we may not be dealing with these issues. That's part of the reason we're having. That's part of the reason she's eating. Your relationship is kind of shallow. Yes, we should be more concerned about her heart than we are her weight. And she knows it. And she knows when you say something about her weight, and it, it, she either knows it or she believes it, he cares more about my weight than he does about my heart. And I think that's part of the issue. And why some people get upset, it's like, why are you focusing on that? Don't you love her heart? Don't you love this woman that you would say something about how much she weighs? And I remember there was one of the country singers years ago, uh, his, his wife, who was a very popular country singer, some, some will know this, they heard him say it, but she went to him and she said, why didn't you tell me that I was fat? And he said, it's my job to tell you you're beautiful, not to tell you you're fat. Okay, and I get okay, that so, too. Well, so there's some different perspectives, and, and that would be the answer that the American, just everyday American woman, it's my job to tell you, the, you're the everyday American woman swoons over. That's the answer that, and and I and I get that. I can see where that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if if your wife doesn't know you believe she's beautiful mm -hmm. and that you love her and that all that, then you saying I'm, you picked up a few pounds. Well, <laughs> sure, that ain't gonna go over well. So, so it's revealing, I think. I think issues in the relationship, partly. So when, though, would that husband that says, you're beautiful, I, it's my job to tell you you're beautiful, but when is it that husband's job or wife's job? When is it that person's job to go ahead and say, you're beautiful, babe, but we need an intervention? An intervention is, is the word. Yeah, I remember when I was working in the insurance industry, I would go back to the same schools every year, and, and I was going to this one school, and this girl came in. We were both new. She was a new teacher. I was a new insurance agent there, and she was ex-cheerleader. Great. You know, looked perfectly fit and healthy. Every year I'd come back, she'd put on about 10 pounds, <laughs> and after about 10 years, I noticed she'd put on about 100 pounds, okay. and I must say, I, I thought, oh, is she having conversations with people? Who's... Anybody else know <laughs> noticing this? Her husband. Now she'd had several kids, and I can imagine if I was the wife and was working and had kids and all this, how much am I going to care about 
and I, people are going to get on me for this, whatever. Unfiltered. I'm just, I'm going to go home and eat. I'm working my butt off. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm helping bring in money for my family. I'm taking care of the kids. I'm, I might be doing more than my husband is. Nobody's going to say a darn thing about what I eat or how big I am. Give me the daggone hot dog. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. All right. But hey. Well. Okay. Do you think she was the, really saying that? The, Probably not. Give me the daggone hot dogs. Hot dogs. Too far. Yeah, you didn't just have Too one. Too far. <laughs> so here's the thing. So here's the thing. Should you ever discuss weight? Yes or no. Should you ever discuss how we eat? Should you ever discuss fitness? Should you, with a child, a loved one, a friend, is that anything, can you ever talk about those things? And then I would bring this in. What about if they smoke? What if what if you married somebody and they weren't smoking? One day they came on this. I'm just under too much stress. I'm going to smoke. Hold on, slow you down. You're going to get on I, about you, that. You just said, slow that down. I, that was a, that was a lot to for my ear lobe. They start to... smoking cigarettes. Okay. And you come home like, what are you doing? You can you? Well, hey, this is my life, and I'm stressed, and or they're drinking more than ever. More you than notice while well, they're you used to drink a glass of wine every night. Now it's a bottle. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, let me finish. Uh, let me finish. Uh, they're doing that or. The doctor gave them some pain meds for the, some pain, and you notice they're getting new prescriptions, and they're mm-hmm. taking more than they're supposed to. Or just Tylenol. But you notice they're eating like five or six at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When can you say anything? And is weight the only one that is like, never talk about that. But yeah. you can talk about how much they drink or smoke, but not if they eat the whole large, large pizza. pizza. Now, and the whole tub now of ice go. Cream. Would you say that the majority of people would hear smoke? Uh, she she took up smoking. She took up, and there's I can just foretell there's yeah. gonna be people that watch this that say, "Why are you focusing this on she? Why are you well, focusing?" Because it's this all on the women that are doing it. It's a joke. See, <laughs> you guys. Got... <laughs> oh my goodness! It's a joke. Obviously. But with people that come to my programs, it probably is about 70% women, okay, 30% okay. men. So it tends to be the woman that's a little bit like, you know what? I don't find too many people getting upset when the woman asks the man about his weight. But I do find oh, okay. the other okay. way tends to be a lot more sensitive. Okay. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. And you may say, no, it's equally wrong. But we do kind of okay, so we that, do kind of hear about it more. So, the woman is like, and all her friends are devastated. Your husband said, what? Yeah. It doesn't go the other way okay, as much. Okay, so that's fair. All right, so what I was about to say was if if the wife took up smoking, took up heavy drinking, took up the, the pills, would the majority of people say, okay, now the husband now has a right. Now need an intervention. So would, even, if, even if her reasons were, I am just under a really yeah. tough yeah. place in Let life. Let her smoke. So what? So what's getting in the carpets and it's all over the house and it costs 100 Two hundred bucks a month, and, and it's, it's getting in her lungs, getting in her lungs, and it's causing her shorter death. It's it's her decision. So a good amount. How of, dare you? A good amount of people would say, "Okay, husband, go ahead and have that com- that hard conversation." Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay. I think most people are going to say that's different. When I would say it's not as different as you want it's it to not, be. It, so it's that's a, it's a it's that's it's the a conversation. cultural kind of a. The, with the way we relate, and I, I would say it's not as different as you wish it were. So that's the conversation right now. Trainer Joe is hopping on, putting his neck on the line. I really am. I'm kind of sore already. It feels like putting somebody. your neck on in the guillotine <laughs> to to get out there and say Damn. this is not much different. Putting on the is ten, the ten do, pounds. Do people a year, think it's totally different. Putting on the ten pounds a year, the twenty pounds a year, and suddenly you're X amount overweight. You should be able to tell your wife, babe, I'm concerned about you and we need to take this seriously and figure something out to where this... You saying I'm saying that? I'm saying that... that yes, I am saying you're saying I'm that. I'm not really I'm sure. I'm not trying to put words... What I'm are not you, really sure. Are, are, well, you, okay, I'm say just it how saying you say I think it. it's a shame that say it's it so... It. That we are so sensitive. It's like... That, that's... For you to say anything about a woman's weight, you might as well pour acid over them, you know, or yourself, or whatever. It's like, it's the worst thing in the world you could do. And I'm like, really? Are we really that emotionally stunted that we can't have a con? Hey, you know, and we can't. And I would say that's a reflection of a relationship that probably needs to go deeper and be Ooh. stronger. Mm. I, and it, I'm not saying, I, 
Does that mean I can go to my wife and say anything I want? No, you need to be, you need to cherish your wife. You need to love her so much that this probably doesn't ever need to come up because she would never, yep. you know, it's just you've got such a deep love and concern for each other. She better be you, feeling. You deal with this way before it ever gets to that. You've already had these discussions. You've already talked about how much you love each yeah. other and how yeah, you yeah. want her to be healthy and you want her to be there. And she's got it. And and I don't know uh, other than, I, I just think that's part of it. She better be feeling a lot of positive She better be feeling a lot of love. You. And I think that's and I think that's why it's I think that's why it doesn't go over well a lot of times because our wives aren't feeling the love that they ought to feel from this us. This is one more we're thing. We're detached. Right. We're detached. We're working a lot. We come home and we're not appreciative. And then yeah, you're gonna say something. So yeah, that's on you. That's on the man. That's on the man. We're and most man. of this is on the man. If your wife is having issues, I'm gonna say you are the one that ought to be making sure she's taken care of and that she's doing well. And I and I'm not saying I'm great at that. I'm just saying I can see things. All right, so I'm not an idiot. I can see that. I've had issues in my relationship with my wife where I realized after things were going poorly, and I was like, she doesn't know I love her like she should. Well, no wonder she's nervous or she's. I remember that coping. We, yeah, I used to uh, go out of town uh, on business, and she'd go, "Oh, you got to go out of town." And I could tell if she thought I wanted to leave, it was really hard for her. If she thought, I really didn't want to go. I really want to be home with you. I hate going out of town. It was a lot easier for her. And that's its not a game. It's reality. Does she know how much? And I don't mean to say if, if your wife is struggling with this, you don't love your wife. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying you don't have a, a good relationship. I'm just saying I think sometimes, maybe many times, there are issues in the relationship that this is just exposing. Okay, so you're getting deep and theological on us. Can you just get very yeah, practical? Can you, but protect me here, Paul. Can you? You got because I can think of I know, friends and I, family and and buddies and all that that might be in the midst of this. Yep. That are saying, "What did he just say?" Yep. And I don't want it to be think, something. That's okay, not, just from just from your son listening in to how this conversation is progressing. I think you have, have handled yourself well. The last video, the uh, the urgent plea to those who don't exercise, mm -hmm. I felt like you were getting very spicy, and I was almost needing to restrain you. We've got lots of love on that, and one we've too. gotten a lot of love. I think it was Most fun. People I think it a, was fun, I, and yeah. I agree with what you said. But it, you were just your the way you were articulating was just getting kind of spicy. This one, I think you've handled yourself. I feel very, like it's been fair, very well. I was going to ask what to to those people maybe watching this video that think to themselves, "Wow." That is my, and it could go either way, husband or wife, that is my situation. My spouse is put on this way. I'm concerned for these reasons. Can you just give them a very practical trainer Joe guide of how they approach their spouse? I, I think I would have a period of time where I've decided, you know what, I'm not going to, it's kind of like if the house was a mess. And you're like, oh. I'm wanting practical out okay. of you right now. It's, it's kind of like if the house was a mess and I'm like, and I'm going to come home and I'm like, she's going to hear from me. This house should never be this messy. And instead, pull back and say, now what, if, what is my issue here? Because usually there's two things going on. It's not just her. What is my issue here? Maybe I could help more around the house. Maybe I need to compliment her. Maybe I need to see if she wants us to get help with that because she's overwhelmed, whatever that might be. So I would say pull back from, from addressing it and look at underlying everything. What's underlying here that I need to take responsibility for first? And okay. and when it comes to the weight thing, I, I maybe it's just went off. You know, okay, maybe I do need to say something. I would give it a period of time, maybe a month, where I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pour out my affection, my love, ask her what she needs, and kind of prepare for a conversation that you might need to have. You might find at the end of that month, she comes to you and says, you've been such a sweetie. Well, I kind of bless you. And then you can say, lose 50 dang pounds. I'm kidding. Okay, come on. Come on. But at that time, you could say, honey, nothing. You know, you don't need to address it necessarily. But when there is an opportunity, When is the opportunity, you? though? When, when is, is the it? opportunity? You just <laughs> I'm still waiting on you. You've been very sweet. You've been very sweet. I'm yeah. waiting on the practical from you, though. Yeah. 
I, I, and I like what you just said. G- g- really focus Sometimes on poor. Sometimes really I don't think we're going to have to address it if we're addressing other things in our lives okay. that are missing. Pour, so you may out. not have to. But at hey, some hey, point... Hey, hey, hold on. Pour out. Focus on yourself and how you can just love your wife so well. But... All right. Here's, here's where you're going to take it on and if you really want to take it on. Yeah. Honey, you're so sweet. You don't need to do anything. But I, I might bring something up that is really hard and I hesitate to do it. And if I do... Do you think you can handle it? Okay. Bring something that, up. That's, so that's kind of the pre... Do you think you can handle it? You kind of prepare that way, and she's like, well, I think so. And and then you say, and, and others are going to know how to say this better, because mm-hmm. I'm just now, I hadn't really thought how it was. And I would say something like, um, I'm concerned about your health. Because I know, you know, when we went to the doctor, they said you were in the, in this health, this weight range, and the doctor was concerned, and I'm just wondering, should I be concerned? You know, should I be concerned? Because I want you here as long, and I want you to, be able to do things you want to do. Something like that. Can you say that? You know, I'm, it bothers me that we have to be so, so sensitive. And I think I've expressed, no, we need to be sensitive. So mm-hmm. there's a mixture there. Okay. So that, to me, hearing that, and it's... it's <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend who's a pastor. Okay. And he's done my program. He's done well with it. And there's people in his congregation that he said, hey, you ought to come do it. And I'm like, can a pastor do that? Right? Can anybody do that? Can you go up to anybody and say, hey, why don't you come do this weight loss program with me? Can anybody do that without people being offended and angry? And, and he said, several people said, yeah, and they're doing it together and they're helping each other. Now, I don't know, maybe they were initially offended. But I think we ought to get to the place where we're not so, oh, I can't believe you said I need to lose a pound. This is horrifying. So there's both sides of that. You you, know, you got to get over yourself if you're like nobody can say anything to you about any anything. Shouldn't people be able to talk to you about things in their life? So I think what what we have a hard time with with is if we think they're being mean. If we think they're just trying to point something out a problem with us. If they're really coming in love, and can you tell that to somebody in love? Can you say out of <laughs> love, I'm concerned about you? Would you want to talk about it and give them the opportunity at least? Wrap it up. <coughs> Choking on my uh, Zevia. Yeah. Close us out. I I know the nature of this topic is so controversial. Yeah. So even just just bringing it up, I'm at really all, curious how this is going to. I am too, us. guys. Really please, <laughs> please. We're both. <laughs> we're both. As two husbands that are trying to love our wives well. To you guys, husbands, wives watching this, weigh in. How do you feel about this? Because in my mind, I'm feeling like you handled that very gently. Like you could have been almost a little more just like blunt. You should do talk about it. Hey, why are you so big? What happened? And I'm not I'm not necessarily that's suggesting. Extreme, yeah, that's the extreme. But but you were very gracious to me. What did you guys think though? How did you feel like you did? It, it, it's a tough one. I think I think fine. That's but I, I it's it's some things are not easy. Yeah, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Okay, that's it. Handle it with care, but still handle it. Yeah. Let us know, guys. Uh, comment below. Make sure you give this <laughs> give this give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. <clears throat> give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated it, and if you're appreciating. This weekly, two times a week content from Trainer Joe. If you'd rather listen to these episodes rather than watch them, there is the podcast as well. But we like having this community and seeing you on here, seeing you in the comment section. It's great. Be blessed. Until our next video, train a Joe, train your brain, and transform your body.